hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to um set up your vagrant and virtual box so that it will automatically um be your sandbox so what we're going to do is like we're using a virtual box to run ubuntu uh, software because the sandbox in the alx um, platform is uh, ubuntu so we want to use our system to run um the uh ubuntu software so we need the virtual box i'm going to send the link of the vagrant how to, um the vagrant software in the description below uh, for the virtual box is also below so after installing your vagrant and virtual box so you now click uh windows r or go to your command line um so you type windows r if you see this time then you now type cmd you now type cmd and press ok so automatically you will not be in your command line window so um so now we're going to now type vagrant that is vagrant box add ubuntu vagrant box add ubuntu slash focal 64 they will now press enter So sometimes it might take up to like five to three minutes um, loading. So this is please kindly ensure that you have your internet connection on. So it will set up and you know the download will redirect to host and cloud images dot ubuntu dot com. So it's currently downloading the you know vagrant on your system. So you can see the progress which is 10 percent 19 percent so it continues to reach there until it reach 100 percent so it might take up to like three minutes to five minutes depending on your um on your internet speed then this is it so it has been successfully added so now we are going to now type vagrant i n i t as initialize ubuntu so we want to initialize it then slash focal 64 you will now press enter So now it has already been replaced in my directory so you are now ready to vagrant up so we'll now type vagrant plugin install so we want to install the vagrant plugin so vagrant plugin install vagrant dash vb g e s t vagrant that virtual box guest you will now press enter so now it's installing so this might take some few minutes let's say three minutes or five minutes depending on your system speed or internet connection then after that we'll now type vagrant up that means we want to start the vagrant up that means we want to you know um start um, using the vagrant on our system so it will now automatically you know on your virtual box so automatically when we type vagrant up automatically it's you know process or uh, communicated with our virtual box so still um processing so it's good to now boot your virtual box so now you can see that our virtual box is on so now we will now go to our virtual box and see something there so they gave us the username is vagrant 
so the username vagrant is the same thing as the password that's what we're going to use to log in in our virtual box so now we'll now go to our virtual box so now automatically it's just um powered or on the um virtual box so we'll now click on show so automatically you now see this uh, command line ubuntu focal login the login or the username is vagrant v a g r a n t and the password is also vagrant so after typing it you now see everything like this so now you now have your command line like the sandbox so from this command line you can you know start um pushing your code from git from here to github and everything from your system so now automatically we are running ubuntu you know operating system on our virtual box so now from here you can now type your code and put push it to github yeah Thank you.